conditions are crazy today. Let's see if I can get some, catch some cut bait with some worms. Little slip bobber rig. Little hook. I got this whole little contraption here. Rod holders. Got some hooks on there ready for some hopefully bigger fish. Got some minnows back here. But this thing does have a light on it. Way up there. Maybe we could bring in some bait later. But there's a storm coming in here in about three hours. To this other point. See if the wind can help me catch some bait. Uh oh, got a bite. I'm gonna put these on standby. So we took some, something first. I'm trying to stay organized. These ones are real cool. The glasses. These are like my favorite ones for the boat. This one's just a spotlight, super bright. Oh, we might have a real bite here. Oh yeah, we do. Oh, we're on. He's unhookable. Yep. That was on the minnow. Go ahead and lip him. There is life out here. This one still got some worm on it. I might have to switch to a minnow. I'm trying to catch a bluegill with that one. Let's let him go. Oh, there goes something. Uh oh. There we go. What is this? Hopefully he's still on there. Alright. This is on that tiny hook and a worm. This one might be a catfish. Or a drum. Yeah. Well, we caught some cut bait. One and a half ounce weight, swivel, bead, little peg float, and a number four circle hook, double action. Here's our two cut baits. piece of wood out here. Perfect rod holder. Uh -huh. I put minnows back on bottom right here. See if some white bass go up. When I'm bank fishing minnows, I usually go through the back. They stay on a lot better. Got a bite.
some more cut bait. <laughs> now that that first one was big enough, I'm gonna let him go. It's all up in my other line. Oh, gar. Nice. Under this one. Got it. Broke off. I don't know what that gar was. Probably about a three footer. It's about three foot long, but. I don't know if he was wrapped around my line and just snapped. It snapped super easy. This is six pound mono and it just snapped. They ain't ready for no gar. I think it's time to check the baits. That's why he broke off. bait on let me whip this extra hard hopefully my line don't bust side to side now so I can play with the minnows a little bit more. Hopefully that fresh bait does something. It's a little bit smaller too. It didn't even look like anything was eating that other bait though. I'm gonna put some of this stuff away. Done playing with the minnows. Look. I don't look like we've got any bites. The waves definitely got bigger. I don't know, we're gonna hold out for a little bit more. Still waiting for the cut bait to hit. We still got some time. That's the radar for the storm. So it could be here pretty soon. Probably over here eating the dead minnow. was still a pretty fun trip a little large mouth I didn't even think about using them for cut bait maybe but right after that I got that drum no bites but I think we're gonna get some big catfish next time thought I was gonna throw a cast net today in this wind barely got away with just fishing at all 
thanks for coming fishing with me. Hope to see y'all on the next one. I ended up stripping down the portable light scope and just turning it into a bank set up. 12.8, 100, 12-foot cable. Goes right to this plug. I'll tape back here so it doesn't fall off. Let's see if I can get some footage on that.